Have you ever tried to install a program or download a file and you're receiving a message that looks like this? Now, I, for the last two or three days, was trying to install a program and I was forever running into this warning message. And like I said, you might be getting this message as well if you're trying to download something from the internet. And it's very, very frustrating. It says your administrator has blocked this application because it potentially poses a security risk to your computer. And then down here, you've got the red warning symbol and it says your security settings do not allow this application to be installed on your computer. Now, I was trying to find out how to solve this issue. I watched many, many YouTube videos. I was on Google for a long time and I finally figured it out. Also, I spoke to the developer for the program and they didn't know how to fix this. I thought it might have been my antivirus provider, which is Bullguard. They couldn't fix it. I had disabled the Windows Defender that didn't work. I was changing all these different settings. And in the end, I did figure out how to fix this. And it was just by chance, really, of reading a blog. Um, but it was quite complicated, the blog. So I thought I would do a YouTube video to show you how to fix this. And it's pretty simple. So all you have to do is you have to search for, let me just share my screen. You have to search for something called registry editor. And that's just literally in your search panel. You can just search on your computer. You open up the program and it looks like this. And on the left hand side, you want to go to this local machine. If you press this open here, then you go to key local machine. Sorry, yeah, we're here. Key local machine. Then you want to go to software. Then you want to find Microsoft. After that, you want to find .NET Framework. So that should be at the top. Then you want to find security. Then you want to find trust manager. Finally, you want to double click on prompting level. And then you will see these files. I had all of these set as disabled. So that bottom one says disabled. All mine said disabled. All I did was double click on internet. I typed enabled, pressed OK. I typed enabled for local intranet, my computer, and this one here, trusted sites. I left the bottom one disabled and I didn't touch the default one. As soon as I did that, I went straight back to the program I was trying to install and it installed straight away, it went straight through. So quick, easy fix, that is how you do it. I believe because you can change the internet one to enabled, that should let you download files from the internet if you're getting the same kind of error message. So I hope that helps and give us a like or a comment if this has worked for you. Thanks for watching.